Hello everyone and welcome to Bag Lunch with me, your host, Mason Howell, coming to you live from what goes around comes around here at our beautiful store in Soho at 113 Wooster Street. We are The Atelier and this is the studio in The Atelier. And I'm so excited to be with back with you all today because we have an amazing selection of items and today's show is all about handbag short stories because there are tons of bags out there with these beautiful rich histories but we can't forget about some of these other beautiful classics. They still have a rich history, just a little bit shorter, but does not make them any less loved or important. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. This one is a bag that is discontinued, no longer exists, so the only place you can get it is here on the pre-loved market, especially here what goes around comes around, best condition, authenticity, always guaranteed. They go through an extremely rigorous process before we bring them directly to you. This is the Louis Vuitton Black Epi Leather Pont Neuf with gold brass hardware from 1996. So the Pont Neuf, the story of this bag, is that the Pont Neuf, which basically means new bridge in French, is the oldest standing bridge across the River Seine in Paris, France. So that is what this bag is. It is named after the oldest bridge in France. And it doesn't look like a bridge, because it is a beautiful bag. Look at this, epi leather, one of the most beautiful leathers, the very first leather that Louis Vuitton ever really used as a full leather line was this leather. Beautiful, look at that. Stunning gold brass hardware zipper all the way around. My favorite feature on this bag, two open pockets. Can you believe that? Absolutely incredible. And for only $975, it is below retail. Can you believe that? and it is below $1,000 as well. $975 for this beauty. This is truly like almost a quiet luxury piece. All you have is that quiet little Louis Vuitton insignia there. Absolutely beautiful. And then you hear, we love the sound of that zipper. That just shows true quality there. Don't forget to always keep it stuffed. Even though Epi leather is very durable, it's quite scratch resistant and it's actually very you know, basically water resistant as well, just rolls right off, has a nice coating over it. I still always recommend stuffing your bags, keep them in great condition. The interior is that beautiful microfiber lining, that Alcantara, basically like a faux suede, but that is because it will not stain as easily as suede would and it really does protect the bag, often used in high luxury vehicles. Beautiful zip pocket here, and then also a slip pocket right behind that zip pocket. Once again, only $975. The oldest bridge in France is what it's named after. One of the best cute little short stories. See, I love it. And we have so many more today for you guys. $975 for this amazing piece. And I keep talking about condition. Condition is absolutely incredible on this. Just minor markings, slight scratch into the hardware, minor, minor wear to the base. Beautiful piece. Once again, they don't produce this anymore. Normally on the pre-love market, you find them in not great condition, but not here what goes around comes around. We're gonna bring you some of the best. Absolutely incredible. $975. All right. Let's move on to another epi piece with another precious story to it. Here we have the Louis Vuitton Black Epi Riviera Bag. Brass gold hardware, that Epi leather, for only $1,095. This is so cool. So this bag, the Riviera, I'm sure you can guess, but this is named after the French Riviera. This is like the perfect bag you could bring to the Riviera. And I love it because, look at it, it's just so precious, but not only that, it does not just double as a bag, but it also doubles as a vanity train case because you oftentimes would take the train to the Riviera. And look, you have all of these slots for your perfume bottles, for all of your other biologique, 
anything that you need, tons of pockets, but this was created with that beautiful leather lining as basically a train bag, but doubles as also a classic just easy bag. You wear around day to day. I love it has this almost triangle, trapezoid shape to it. Beautiful. And I love it even has that small little luggage tag. Isn't that adorable? And I love Louis Vuitton. They really bring in their travel history into the entire piece of this bag and into basically every other piece they do. Only $1,095 for this great bag. And it's super easy. If you want to purchase this piece, all you have to do is to pop over here. Our wonderful moderator, Michelle, will put the pieces over here, throw it over my shoulder as soon as we bring it up as well. And then, of course, if there's a piece you want me to bring back, just let us know in the chat. I'll do my best. Along with Michelle, she will answer any questions you may have. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. We're excited to have you. And of course, for everyone over on Facebook and YouTube, thank you all so much for tuning in. Feel free to come join us at whatgoesaroundnyc.com and just click on that live shopping tab. There will also be a flashing red light in the bottom corner. Click that as well and it will bring you directly to me. And we have so much fun here. Once again, only $1,095 for this beautiful Louis Vuitton Riviera Epi leather bag with gold brass hardware. And once again, almost quiet luxury. You have that beautiful just LV symbol down there, just quietly inserted in there. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's like a double bag, almost like you're going to the Riviera, you're going on like a little weekend getaway. I don't think this could fit all of your weekend items, but maybe overnight could fit all your overnight items. And if you're going to Riviera or anywhere, like going to Ibiza, anything like that, you can just clearly just all you need is a bathing suit, some santon, santon, san, sun tan, san tan, sun tan lotion and a toothbrush, and you are good to go. That is all you need. So this is actually a perfect weekender bag. And don't forget that front pocket here, easy. It's like your iPad, anything else you have down in there. Once again, only $1,095. Just hit its 20th birthday from 2003. Gen Z, that's what this is, she's Gen Z. So it's perfect. All right. Next, we move on to the beautiful Gucci Marmont bag. This is the Gucci Pink Metalise Quilted Leather Shoulder Strap Flat Bag Marmont. This was designed by Alessandro Michel, one of the very first pieces he designed when he came to Gucci. Absolutely incredible. So actually, Alessandro Michel was with Gucci since 2002 and worked his entire way up to become creative director, and he actually recently left. So in 2016, Alessandro Michel actually reimagined the Gigi symbol here. So the Gigi stands for Guccio Gucci, who was the founder of Gucci, and his son Adolfo Gucci created that symbol. So, but you normally see them mirroring each other, basically opposite sides. Now they're interlocking, similar to like Chanel, and facing one way and one direction together, which I kind of love, just makes it a little bit more modern there. So the Guccio Gucci, and then the Marmont bag, this is actually kind of, it's a beautiful story, but like my heart breaks because this was named after Chateau Marmont, a beautiful hotel and fabulous lounge, restaurant as well in Los Angeles. So stunning, basically like in a castle. Matthew McConaughey lived there for like six months. It was in his book, really good. But basically the Marmont, after COVID, no longer exists, but what does exist is the beautiful pieces here. Actually, I stand corrected. Chateau Marmont is still open. And I'm so excited to hear that. I thought it wasn't. <gasps> so now you need to take your Marmont bag to Marmont, Chateau Marmont. And this piece is only $2,185. dollars can you believe that? Beautiful, and look at that. Easy on the shoulder. And you see me keep playing with the chain. Look how simple and easy it is to adjust it to make it a shoulder bag. Just like that, wear it crossbody. You have that heart in the back there, a little symbol of love. And actually, when you wear it, that heart hits where your heart is right there. So it's just keeping your heart close to you, your bag, which you love, close to you. And then, of course, you have this clasp here underneath. 
And I love that it's not a magnetic closure, but it is a clasp. And then sometimes you don't even need the stuffing inside. You just need the dust bag folded up. Sometimes that's all you need. Once again, we have that beautiful microfiber Alcantara lining that is scratch resistant, stain resistant. Zipper pocket here. This is the smaller size. Look almost nowhere to the base, anything as such. You get that beautiful quilting on the back there that matches to the front. Only $2,185 for this incredible piece. Can you believe that? Absolutely stunning. You have that antique gold hardware, which I really, really love. $2,185. All right. Let's move on to piece with such a rich, beautiful history. And this one, I've, you really never see them in this fabric or anything. This is the Chanel Brown Quilted Linen Diana Flat Bag in a size medium with gold hardware, that 24 karat plated gold. This is 1991 to 1994 era. It was named after the one and only, the late Princess of Wales, Princess Diana. And this is one of the only Chanel bags she was ever really seen carrying. But it's almost like just a classic flat bag, but it does have more of a curved, flat to it, along with this beautiful border here, which separates the two, and the border actually continues along the sides here as well. This is so rare to find because this is in linen. Normally you only see them in leather, lambskin leather, then caviar leather, so hard to find, but now a linen, basically a jersey linen, incredible. I mean, if this is not a summer necessity, and you could wear this during the fall too, that's incredible about it. It doesn't even look almost like a linen, but from far away, they're like, oh, what is that? And to get up close. So really the fall, winter, maybe not, but summer, fall, spring, this would be a great bag to wear. Especially like with black, see it just looks a little darker. But if I had it behind, you know, something that was a little bit of a lighter color, a yellows or anything like that, it would brighten it up for the summer. Beautiful piece. And of course, don't forget, uh, of course we have that strap, which you can wear on your shoulder here, or of course, crossbody. Once again, I am six foot five, so if it looks a little short of me, that's okay, but below six feet, it's gonna hit you right above the hip. Absolutely incredible item. I wonder if I messed my hair up there. It's okay, it's okay if I didn't. <laughs> Beautiful, and this piece, you're not gonna believe, normally these Dianas hit above $8,000. This is only 6000 $950 for this incredible piece. And once again, don't forget to get that 24 karat plated gold hardware that they don't do anymore. Beautiful CC turn lock created by the one and only Carl Lagerfeld along with this woven chain. $6,950. Can you believe that? Absolutely mind blowing. And look, that base I love that they didn't quilt the base at all, but basically nowhere to it. Just a little fuzz on there, but that is it. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Look at that, wow. That's why I love the Dianas. Every Diana I see here, what goes around comes around, virtually nowhere to it. It is insane. The amount of pieces we find on the pre-love market, and we're celebrating our 30th anniversary. I mean, we're doing something right. We find the most incredible items here, and I love it. I'm so happy to bring them to you all. Once again, only $6,950 for the Chanel Brown Quilted Linen Medium Diana Flat Bag with 24 karat plated gold hardware. All right, let's move on to the next. Here we have this incredible Goyard, red, Goyardine canvas, the coated canvas, of course, Voltaire bag. I love this item. This is like very much, reminds me of like the Louis Vuitton sack plaque. And Goyard describes this as 
if this bag is basically not, you know, the St. Louis is not big enough for you, then this is the piece you could go for. It's St. Louis more north-south sister is what it was. So actually the Voltaire bag, love the history of this. It takes its name from Quai Voltaire, which is in Paris 7th arrondissement. You know, that's where a lot of the many well-reputated, well-reputed, well-reputable um, antique dealers are and secondhand bookshops. So, you know, it's literally basically a great bag for walking around there or for work. You know, if you're going antique shopping or antique dealing, you know, books, anything like that, rare books, such an insane industry. So crazy, but love it. So great piece. I love this red color. It's very vibrant, especially if you wear all black, you wear a lot of neutrals. This is a great bag for you. It could be worn year round if you wish. Only $2,500 for this great piece. Here we have that wonderful Goyard interior. It's that yellow interior we often see. And I love, you oftentimes see this Goyard striped there. And then if you don't want to carry it by its handles, do not worry, it comes with a shoulder strap. And I love the shoulder, let's, let's look at the shoulder strap hardware, because look how beautiful and precious that is. This one still has a little bit of plastic on it. But see, you get that Goyard symbol still right on there. That's just a sign of authenticity there that we look for. But I love when hardware is just slightly different, not like the norm. Hermes does it, Louis Vuitton does it, Goyard does it. So just like this, put it on there. And you have the adjustable straps. You can make it longer, shorter, anything you want. There you go. That's actually a really good bag. I like this. $2,500 for this incredible piece. By the way, Goyard does not have an online shop. And they oftentimes don't have many stores around the world. There's only a couple here in America. So the pre-loved market is one of the best places to get it. Because oftentimes here, unless it's basically brand new Goyard, we don't take it because Goyard is something that we know is so precious, so loved, that we want to ensure we're bringing the best condition pieces to you. And I'll have to show you these handles and that detail on it. Once again, only $2,500 for this amazing piece. There we go. Even if you just have a little stuffing inside of it, make sure it always gets those corners. Look at these handles. Wow. Incredible condition. No cracking, rarely any creasing. And I do love, of course, we have this amazing, amazing stitching here. I love when they attach the handles to the bags. It's just always a little bit different. It's those little pieces of details and those little items that I love when it comes to luxury. Okay, we're gonna bring out another Goyard item. There we go. Okay. Here we have this beautiful Goyard, gray Goyardine canvas, Belvedere PM with silver hardware. I love it. You know why the Goyard Belvedere, you can wear it so many ways. See how the strap's going underneath? We can also push the flap down, put it all the way through, if you wish. As I struggle here to put it all the way through, it's beautiful Gordon canvas here. All right, well, you know what I'm trying to get at there. Or you can always leave it undone. Another great accent there. There's multiple ways to wear this bag, and I love that. So the Belvedere is the size PM. Beautiful, has that gray tonal leather around, almost contrasting, but a little contrasting white stitching as well. Beautiful. That. Great piece, flat bag, 
course, $2,950 for this amazing piece. I'm sure you guys can hear our air just kicked on. It's the Belvedere PM bag. This is basically a reinterpretation of the small bag worn by log drivers to carry something, you know, to eat while they were working. So, you know, it takes a name from the Belvedere or the viewpoint of what basically was looking outside the Clamacy and clearance in the Morven Fort forest family basically that's where these log workers would look out to to be like okay you know that's where i'm gonna get the logs from today so that's what the belvedere is inspired by so it's like basically like a lunch bag and that's so cute so that's only two thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars for this amazing piece look at that beautiful yellow canvas lining two slip pockets in there Get another slip in the back as well. And look at that. I mean, look at that condition on this. Virtually flawless in the undertone of the leather. Absolutely beautiful. Then, of course, along with one of our dust bags, it does come with the Goyard dust bag as well. Strap is adjustable. Only $2,950 for this fantastic piece. Feel free to, free to say hello in our chat. We'd love to hear from you all. If there's any pieces that you're loving, you know, just say, you know, Mason, I love that. And we'll be more than happy to talk more about it. I could talk about these bags all day long. I absolutely love it. Okay. Next, we're getting into, this one has such a cute, just, oh, just so cute. Such a cute little history behind it. This is probably one of the smallest bags we'll have today. So if you're looking for smaller, sorry, today may not be the day, but I think this bag will do. This is the Balenciaga Black Leather Sneakerhead Crossbody Wallet, basically. So you have a sneaker design here. It's basically reimagined like a sneaker, which is what Balenciaga has been widely known for recently, you know, such as the Triple S or to quote the one in great Cardi B, the ones that look like socks, basically the high knit version. That is what this bag is basically modeled after. But it is basically like a walled on chain. Look at that. Beautiful for your coins or anything else. Your cards here, some cash there. But it's easy, you can wear it as a little bag. Where's a little crossbody? Perfect. Only $915. I love that they named it the sneaker head. That's basically named after what you call people who collect sneakers. The sneaker industry is so booming right now. And places like Sotheby's and Christie's have even started their own departments for it. So I love that they named the sneaker head after people like that, who just love collecting sneakers. Kind of go crazy. So if your partner or you yourself loves wearing sneakers, this is a great gift for them or a great gift for you for only $915 Below $1,000 is an amazing, amazing piece. Absolutely love this. Okay. Here is our next piece. This is so incredible. This is Hermes. Rose Shocking Epsom Evelyn 3 as number three, generation three in the size PM with palladium hardware. This is absolutely incredible. You have that contrasting pink stitching there. This is where you find all those date codes right underneath. This is an O in a circle, which means this is from 2011. Epsom leather, which is that coated, scratch resistant, water resistant, stain resistant leather that we have here. You have that canvas. Amazon shoulder strap here as well. Adjustable. By the way, Generation 1 Evelyn. Eventually, I'm going to bring out all the generations for us. But Generation 1 Evelyn's did not have a shoulder strap. And they did not have a back pocket. Generation 2 Evelyn's had a back pocket, but no adjustable shoulder strap. Generation 3 Evelyn, which we see here today, which are still in production, have adjustable shoulder straps and the back pocket. Now, the cute little story on this bag. This was originally designed in 1978 at generation number one. It was named after the former head of writing department, Evelyn, 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 Evelyn Bertand. 
served as basically like a convenient carry-all for horse grooming equipment that a lot of groomers and other people could use. Because this H perforated was originally to be worn on the inside so that it would basically air out the tools. But now that we see that beautiful H, we oftentimes wear it on the exterior here. And this is, when I tell you this is the perfect, perfect everyday run around. If you have kids, if you have fur children, you know, dogs, cats, anything like that, or a duck, whatever your float your boat, this is the perfect bag for it. Running around, hands free. You have the pocket here so you can keep your phone easily in there, your wallet. You get the snap closure. It's unlined, so it actually has basically a suede lining, if you will, but it is unlined. Beautiful palladium hardware, and I just love it. I love that it's a canvas strap, so it really just add to that lightweightness of this bag. It's pretty lightweight, so anything you add more in there won't really overhaul this bag too much. And it's in that beautiful rose shocking color. Can you guess why? It's that pink shocking. Shocking pink. This piece, only $3,950. That is below retail for this bag. And it's a size PM, that means it measures at 29 centimeters across. And that's drop time seen now with the newer ones they're referred to as the size 29. So that's what this technically is. But from 2011, they were still referred to as PM. It's only $3,950 for this beautiful, beautiful, elegant piece. Now, of course, you don't always have to stuff them with, you know, tissue paper or anything like that, or newsprint paper, unprinted newsprint paper, or bubble wrap, but sometimes just a two what goes around comes around dust bags will do. And then of course, if you want to store the strap as well, easy, just undo it like this. I always recommend taking it back down to the lowest setting. That's not really for any like a, uh, keep it safe, just basically makes it smaller and easier to store. Just like that, wrap around your hand. And then gently lay it on top there. And you're all set. Once again, only $3,950 for this incredible piece. Oh, I should have today brought a twilly to show you. On the smaller ones, I'll do it. You can always tie a scarf here and wear this little shoulder bag. See, so many versatile options you can do with this bag. Going for $3,950? Steal, steal. All right. Now we're on to a Boston bag. This is the Gucci Pink Gigi Blooms Supreme Canvas Boston bag. And this has almost like an antique silver hardware to it. And the Gigi Blooms print was actually first presented um, throughout the fall winter 2015 fashion show from Gucci. And that was actually the very first um, collection that Alessandro Michel put out. And it's basically involved now into an iconic Gucci print, kind of inspired by the floor print that uh, was designed by one of the Gucci family members beforehand. But it has stayed with us today, almost looks like the flora. And the Boston bag, interesting little history here. The Boston bag was named after the city of Boston, where most women actually carry this bowler-shaped type bag. And they always said, like, a woman from Boston, she would always have one of these bags. It was always just, always had it, no matter what. This piece, only $1,320. You get that original GG canvas underneath of the blooms. So still adding heritage that uh, Alessandro Michel, he took heritage from Gucci's history, which I love. And they almost have this it sounds like a rose, a little bit of touch of purple, a little touch of red in it. Basically like trim, I love it, so beautiful. It almost works with the flowers and brings all those colors together within the print. And then that beautiful zipper sound. Don't forget, we always will have a shoulder strap. I love that the Boston bag gives you that versatility. Like the speedy bandolier, easy, you can wear it with, without. Easy evening to night, hands free. Simple, just like that. And only $1,320. I mean, that's a steal. Even Speedies, Louis Vuitton Speedies brand new bandoliers are like 2000 So you get this beautiful, beautiful Gucci print with a little bit of a reimagined classic. I always say if you love a classic, but you just want something that's a touch different, this is the piece to go for. 
$1,320 for this incredible, incredible item. And of course, don't forget, the shoulder strap is always adjustable. So you have about four different holes there that you can play with. Beautiful. And then of course, just wrap your shoulder strap up like this, place it down in there, and you are good to go. Now the interior, you have two slip pockets right there. And then of course, you have a zip pocket on the other side with the Gucci brand tag in there. The feet of this bag, look, you keep that Bloom's design on the bottom. And you have five metal feet that will protect the base from any surface you put it on. We never put it on the ground. My grandmother always told me if you put your bag on the ground, you end up broke. I don't know if that's still true, but there we go. Beautiful. $1,320 for this amazing piece. Okay. Next, we are going into this piece. I absolutely love this cutie. This is the Gucci Brown Canvas Web Rain Shoulder Brag with gold, silver gold, <laughs> silver hardware. My eyes just played a trick on me here. I love when they do that though. Like basically, when you're looking into the light and it changes just a little bit, that's what I love about these bags. They oftentimes can play versatility all the time. So this is called the Rain's Bag. You can see it's thinner, long handles, Fits pretty well over my arm, so it should fit well over yours. But it has the name The Reins because it's basically the reins are on a horse, like a horse reins. It's a long, narrow strap, you know, attached to one end of the horse bit. So this is technically be the horse bit, and these are the long reins here. Let me also consider this the reins, the handles. Beautiful, and then this Gucci web here, we'll get into that, I'm not gonna give away that secret just yet. But I love, you have the double interlocking Gigi logo here where the reins connect all throughout. And then very interesting, if you can see, it almost looks like little holes throughout. And you're right, it is, it's basically perforated leather all throughout this piece, and I absolutely think that is beautiful. And such a nice little just touch of ingenious. And a lot of people don't know, Gucci actually takes a lot of inspiration from equestrian design, just like Hermes does. The horse bit on the loafers, I mean, it's right there in the name, it's a horse bit. And then I kind of love this. You have this cool, funky, almost modern Gucci lining. And it's blue, just something different you don't always see, almost like a jacquard. And of course, you have the zip pocket here as well. And this piece is only $1,350. It's no longer produced in excellent, excellent condition. Beautiful silver tone hardware. Oftentimes Gucci's come in gold tone, so it's nice to have a little silver piece every now and then. Beautiful beige canvas here. That web is also that beautiful canvas. $1,350. All right. Let's move on to our next piece. Here we have this beautiful Balenciaga Gray Caskin Papier A6 zipper round tote with silver hardware. So the Papier was named after paper because when they first came out with this leather, it's so thin and it's so delicate that it almost feels like a piece of paper, but do not worry, you could stuff this thing. It's like basically a trick in your mind. You could stuff this thing with so many items and it will hold up just fine. I've seen more overstuffed Papiers than overstuffed Santas. So this is a great piece to have. And then A6 basically refers to the size of paper. You know, they have A6, B2, I think, something, something. I'm, once again, I don't know paper very well. But I do know bags, and that's what this is named after. Beautiful silver hardware. You can love it. You can fan out the sides, almost like in a Celine Phantom. But then you can always push them in. Beautiful zippers on the side here. Only $1,350. And then kind of a nod to the Motorcycle City. You have the studs here, that same framing. 
Beautiful. It even comes with, you're not going to believe this, it comes with your own mirror and shoulder strap. Can you believe that? And the mirror you just easily attach on there. Fabulous. And I love, I just love when it hangs. Perfect. And then the shoulder strap, which I love when brands do this. They give you a little shoulder strap nub here. Shoulder strap ring. And then there you go. Easy as could be. It's a great little bag. I love it. You can wear crossbody, has the adjustable strap. Only $1,350 for this incredible, incredible piece. And then easy to take off the shoulder strap. Great. The interior. It's basically an unlined suede almost zip pocket here. Drop this up like that. The mirror, you could always take off if you want or you can just easily loop it down in there, but why not? Let's just take it off to be safe. Comes with Balenciaga dust bag as well, along with, of course, the what goes around comes around cotton dust bags. And I love when you just wear it to solo like this, Perfect. Only $1,350 for such a versatile piece. Look at that base. Virtually no wear to it. I love Balenciaga. It's just one of those timeless pieces that we're all like, yes. I forgot about you for a minute, but I love it. Almost a forgotten classic. Beautiful. Okay. The next bag we have is this stunning Louis Vuitton. Demier Aben Shearling Normandy bag. And this is with gold hardware, and as you can see, it has this beautiful shirt shearling throughout. You're probably crazy thinking, Mason, why are you bringing a fur bag from the summer? You know what? I truly believe summer fur. We love a summer fur. And by the way, it's not fur, it's just shearling. Beautiful shearling. And this bag was named after the Normandy, Normandy, which is a region in northern France on the channel between England. So, on the English channel. So it gets very cold up there. So, there you go. And only for $3,500. That's an incredible price for this piece. And you get shearling, you get beautiful black leather trim from that demi Ben, which just stands for checkerboard. Absolutely incredible. Then, one of my favorite parts about this piece is that you have this almost like turn lock up here, like it's a Chanel bag. And then you have that amazing Alcantara suede, not suede, but Alcantara suede-like lining there. And then, of course, that beautiful interior here in the red. Stunning. Two slip pockets right here and then just easy on the other side. You have so many pockets in this bag. Four basically, two very large pockets, two smaller. And don't forget Louis Vuitton. We love them for functionality just like so many of these other brands. We have this beautiful, beautiful shoulder strap along with it. And you can place this shoulder strap, which I love, really anywhere that you need it to be. And I always recommend doing it so it's counterbalancing each other right there, easy. Simply sits on your shoulder, shoulder here. I love that it basically tapers down and widens as it goes up, so it's a little bit more comfortable on your shoulder there. Great bag. This is great for Aspen, St. Moritz, anywhere you're going. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Just like that, you take off the shoulder strap. And then of course you have the keys here, little clochette. 
and it comes with one of our wonderful, what goes around comes around, dust bag and a big dust bag as well. Beautiful. Then you have the zipper here, so you can zip it in that middle compartment to keep it safe. And then of course, five feet on the bottom there. We absolutely love it. $3,500 for this incredible piece. Once again, named after Normandy. I mean, which is basically a great region in northern France on the English Channel. Cold winters is the perfect little bag for it. Okay, let's go on to a really cool piece. It almost makes me feel like, I'm in like my professor era, by the way. I feel like I'm in my, I'm in my academia, like dressing era. So, this makes me feel like, almost like school-like, like I'm going to give a lecture. This is a Louis Vuitton Demier Aben Portobello travel shoulder bag. So it's named after Portobello, Italy, not the mushroom. Also very delicious though, by the way which is on Sardinia's northern coast. So I love it, it's a great travel bag. Look, you have this basically back compartment here, great for plane tickets, things are easy to see, and I love that. It's very like, giving very like dad vibes, like this is the vibe your dad would work at the airport. And I love here, see how that Demian and Ben matches up? That's that quality right there. Two snap closures, beautiful canvas interior here. And look, you have room for your pens, you might just need a pen. You have another slip pocket here, easy for IDs or anything like that. Adjustable shoulder strap, interior here. Also, it's hard to see, but there is a key ring in here. It's hard to see it, but there it is. Oh, almost had it. There we go. There it is, there's that key ring. Easy for your keys, any other things you need to keep featured there. I really love this bag. And look, it's over your shoulder strap. See, I feel like I'm a professor now or a dad. <laughs> I love it. Fits easy, snug to your body. And by the way, you want to keep this close to you. You want to keep it very close. So I like that it's at this height. $1,300 only. Absolutely incredible. I'm really worried about my hair, you guys. I love my hair. Love how it's been doing what it's been doing lately. $1,350, incredible piece easy for travel, safety for travel. $1,300 for the beautiful Portobello bag. And look at that beautiful chocolate brown lining, uh, trimming there that matches the shoulder strap here, this leather shoulder strap. Matches that demi a Ben, the middle part of the checkboard, the darker part, perfectly. $1,350. Absolutely stunning. And lucky, wear just a nice little shoulder bag too if you need. Super easy. All right. Let's head over to another stunner. This is the Gucci Brown Original Gigi Crystal Princey handbag. And the reason they call it crystal is basically that's when it has this almost patent layer over the Gigi canvas. So that's when they name it the crystal. And kind of illuminates like a crystal. And this is the Princey. It's really beautiful. You have this wonderful faux pork leather trim. And then on the base, it's a nice calf leather trim as well. You have five feet there. Absolutely beautiful. Zipper. And I love it, it's almost like an east-west. Great, very Y2K into the style right now. You get that little touch of web detail there, so it's just a little pop of something. It's almost like a ribbon going through. And then I love the lining here. It's that brown lining, canvas. This is technically a cell phone pocket for back in the day, the Nokia brick phones and things like that, but, or the flip phones. And what you would do is, this is part of my era, you would throw in the back side of the phone there and the front part over here. So it's like the flip is hanging on. And then you have a zip pocket here. And guess what? I test it. I know the disposable cameras have also be become a big thing again. It fits a disposable camera. That's what that pocket's now used for, disposable cameras. 
great little bag for it. And can you believe the price? Below a thousand, eight hundred and ten dollars for this incredible piece. Absolutely amazing. Eight hundred and ten dollars. Look at that condition. I feel like I don't talk about that enough. And if I talk about it too much, I don't mind because that's what you get here at What Goes Around Comes Around. Pre-loved items in the best condition as if you're buying them store fresh. And that tells me, you know what, you should come and have that experience. It's almost like you're walking into one of these beautiful luxury stores and gain that amazing experience. And that's what we give you here at What Goes Around Comes Around. Via here, our live shopping channel, feel free to say anything in the chat. Be happy to help you out or come visit one of our stores. We have a store in Beverly Hills, just off Rodeo Drive, and one of our amazing styles, we have to help you find the perfect bag, maybe even give you some bubbles. I'll ensure that happens here at the store we're at. This is at 113 Wooster Street, in the heart of Soho. We are the Atelier, this is the studio in the Atelier. So if you come by, we'd be more than happy to show you around, find you that perfect bag, and once again, I'll ensure I'll give you that glass of bubbles. You may just see me. I'd be happy to come up and say hello. And then, of course, our original flagship, our main location at 358 West Broadway, that is also in the beautiful Soho neighborhood. We are celebrating our 30th anniversary, and you have to see it there. We have a denim bar. It's one of the coolest things ever. And if you're unable to come visit us, just follow us on Instagram, at what goes around NYC, and on TikTok. DM us. Be happy to connect with one of those amazing stylists. And we can find you a bag just like this, $810 for this piece of history here. It's all wearable art. All right. I'm sure everyone has seen this bag. If you know the Speedy, you know this bag. This is the beautiful Louis Vuitton Demier Aben Alma in the size PM. It has this beautiful Demier Aben print, which is just the checkerboard. And then, of course, it has that beautiful leather handles and the leather trim that continues to the base of the bag here. Absolutely beautiful. This piece, it was originally created in 1934 by none other than Gaston Louis Vuitton. And then the Alma was basically the second handbag created by Louis Vuitton after the Speedy. But some debate it came before, but then and then they all came around the same time because the Speedy also came in the early to mid-1930s. And then the rumor goes that the Alma was originally created for Gabrielle Coco Chanel. Ga uh, Coco Chanel's real name was Gabrielle. And basically it was a custom order in 1925. And then Coco apparently gave permission for them to release it in the mid-30s for public later on. And that's what I kind of love about this. Like this has that ties between Coco Chanel and Louis Vuitton. And if you think at any point these brands did not know each other, oh, they absolutely did. It's Paris. They all knew each other. And all these cities, they all were between Paris and New York and Milan. They all knew each other. And oftentimes they didn't like each other. So I love when they honestly, secretly maybe order something from these brands because they're like, I may not like you, but I do like that. I need that. So I love that this was maybe, maybe the rumor for Coco Chanel. And this piece, basically retail, it's, you're going to believe it, retail, they are much higher than this. This is only $1,550 for this incredible piece. And I love it. You have that beautiful lining here. Absolutely incredible. One slip pocket there, another pocket for your phone here. Great piece, the double handles. And it does accommodate, the shoulder strap is not with it, but this one does accommodate a shoulder strap. Beautiful piece. And I love the zippers go all the way down on each side. Just when you think they're not low enough, they go even lower and you can extend the sides of the bags there. Beautiful. We keep a little tissue paper just on the sides to keep it in great condition. I mean, this piece is in absolutely stunning, amazing condition here. Beautiful piece. Look at that base, virtually nowhere to it, just a few minor marks. Only $1,550 for this incredible beauty. Okay. Next we are moving on to 
Another basically just historic item. This is the Balenciaga Pink Agno Lambskin Classic Town Bag. Of course, modeled after the motorcycle bag. It's part of that whole collection that came out. This is the smaller hardware rather than the giant hardware. You have this long shoulder strap, which I love. And then of course we have the classic mirror. And I love these. Pop the mirror right in there if you wish. Or just let it hang. I love when it's inside too. And then this part just hangs out because like when you see someone walk down the street with it, or in the wild if you will, you know it's in there. You're like, okay, I know it's in there. This is great because you could wear this crossbody if you wish. You have the long tassel straps here. And this, the original bag was a motorcycle bag, the city bag. And that was released in 2001 during the then creative director Nicholas Gesquier's uh, tenure at Balenciaga. And to he, begin with, he brought it out, and the managers of Balenciaga were like, I don't know, because that's a little too, basically not as structured as we would like. A little too soft, a little too, you know, too cool. So, with just 25 bags that he created, put those into production, he then sent them out to like Kate Moss, to tons of other celebrities and models, and they all instantly fell in love. So many, I mean, if we went through the list of celebrities who have worn this, it'd be every celebrity out there. You know, Olsen Twins, Kate Moss, the list goes on. Like, it is never ending to people who love the city bag. And I love it because they still wear it today. I still love when I see out in the wild, on the street and I pass, and someone's still carrying a city bag. I love when they're really beat up too. When someone you can tell has just loved it and worn it, that is the best thing about this bag. Look in this great condition, $1,450 less than retail on this piece. They don't make the town anymore. And you could love this bag. This piece of heritage you'll have forever. You could pass it down. You could wear it, live in it, beat it up, enjoy it. And that's the point of these bags, to love them. Here we have that wonderful black canvas lining. Zip pocket here. Absolutely incredible. I love, see, see, it just wants to slouch. That's the whole point of it. You set it on the table and then, and like other bags, you're like, oh, I don't want that to slouch. This, you want to slouch. Like that's chic, that's cool. I'm into it. And I love, you have those woven handles here. Very motorcycle, very vroom vroom. I think that's what the sound motorcycles make. Vroom. So, with that, this beautiful piece, $1,450. Absolutely amazing. I know, Leah, isn't this bag great? We love it, especially in pink. This is an amazing pink color. Leah, thank you so much for tuning in today. It's so excited to have you here. Absolutely beautiful. $1,450 for this great piece. Now let's bring out its younger sister, brother, whatever you want to call them. Here we have, this is now the newer version the Neo Classic. This is a Balenciaga gray calfskin Neo Classic small city bag. So this is the newer version that has come under the direction of Dimna Gavasalia, and that's who's the new creative director of Balenciaga. You can see we kept those classic sides here, but gave it more of a trapezoid shape. A lot of other classic elements, a little bit of a smooth leather, a little more structure, which I kind of do like it in the structure. So I like the both. This is only $1,750. And instead of the hardware protruding, it's just flat heads there. You still have the long straps. And I love this gray color. Absolutely beautiful. That is just, that is just sick. I love that. I love that word, sick. Whenever you put on Balenciaga or like a streetwear brand talking about it, I feel like I gotta I get cooler. Makes me feel part of the, part of the sneaker heads and all that. I love it. You then have that incredible calfskin lining as well. You have two pockets, a shoulder strap, and this is, this is the cool part they did. I love that they kept this, and I have to show you now on this one as well. On the older version, look, they decided to keep the hardware. Isn't that incredible? We love that. It's the old vintage hardware, 
change the shoulder strap a little bit, but I love it to keep the hardware. It's the small details that I love about these brands that they do. And especially when the new creative directors come in and they put their own spin on it. I like that they look to the past to bring them inspiration and not in a way of, you know, let's stay in the past, but in a way of let's, how do we move forward? How do we combine the modern elegance of fashion now to the history that we want to maintain in the brand image? So, look at that. I love they have these small little hooks here. It's kind of funny because the older ones had giant ones, as you can see here. So, make it just a little bit different. Giant hooks here. Smaller here. Then, of course, and I love that it is just a little bit more classic there. Beautiful base. Just minor press marks. Other than that, it's in excellent condition. I see virtually no wear to it, even on the hardware, that dark gunmetal hardware. Only $1,750 for this amazing, amazing piece. All right, let's get into another item that's kind of great for summer. It's like kind of fun too. Here we have this fantastic Fendi Brown Zucca Mesh Tote. And I love it. Take that out. Because look, you have this yellow contrasting stitching that is just literally undeniably Fendi. Fantastic shoulder straps. The little tight over my shoulder, but once again, I'm six foot five, it'll fit over yours just fine. I love that's mesh, see-through, but it's really not even see-through. Okay, wait, it really is. It is see-through. <laughs> just kidding. I was like, I can't see anything through it because there's nothing in it to see, and that's okay. But then I love that they give you this. This is uh, Zuka, little case here for anything, you know, any personal items you want to keep in there, credit cards any hygiene items, just put in there and it will be safe and not seen. The base though is still the Zuka canvas, not see-through. And so is the, light, the um, trimming throughout it as well. So really only the sides and the middle parts are see-through, which is great. You don't need to see the bottom of your bag. That's too much, but we love it. Absolutely amazing, amazing piece. And this is only $1,025. And that FF on here, that was by Carl Lagerfeld. He did a play on words for fun fur. And I also love you can always say fun Fendi. So we love it. And actually Carl Lagerfeld ran the house from 1965 all the way up until his death in 2019. So he was there for over basically 60 years. Isn't that incredible? Like you know, almost six years, and it's a little over 55 years. So incredible. And he actually worked very closely with the five Fendi daughters, which we'll get into here in a minute. But I absolutely love this piece. Great for summer. Only $1,025 for this incredible, incredible piece. Okay. I'm going to bring to a little accessory here. This is just a good old classic Continental Wallet. This is the Fendi Taupe leather logo embossed Continental Wallet. I love it, it's just a nice classic flap. You have that little snap there. We love it. Then I love that they kind of gave you, like it's almost like not card holders, like cash holders, just slip holders up here. Then you have multiple card holders in there. You have four on each side, actually four on the front side and six on the back side with a couple more slots, slip slots there, and then a zip pocket for coins or other items. I love when a continental wallet is just, it's just smooth all around. I think that is beautiful. And I love this big old Fendi Roma. So actually Adele and Eduardo Fendi, he actually, they created, actually I don't ever say that correctly, Eduardo, Eduardo, yep, Eduardo. Fendi created the fashion house in Rome in 1925. And actually the granddaughter, Sylvia Venturi Fendi, she is still one of the creative minds there at Fendi. I love that. Fendi's now owned by LVMH, the five Fendi daughters. Unfortunately, Eduardo died early on, but Adele and her five daughters 
took over the House of Findy and brought it to what it is today. And that's who brought in Karl Lagerfeld. So I love that about it. And I love that just gives that history. Findy, we should think of the five Findy sisters and Adele and Eduardo. And then of course, Roma for Rome, where it was still at today. Beautiful piece. And this is only $700. You can't even get these retail for that much. Can you believe that? Only $700 is an amazing piece. Virtually nowhere to it. Look, I'm not even seeing any marks, any scratching whatsoever. Just a minor creasing right there, but that happens with these wallets and this beautiful smooth leather. Beautiful. Only $700 for this incredible, incredible piece. All right. More Fendi because now we're going to get into the small Fendi print. This is the Fendi pink, almost magenta, zucchino canvas tote with beautiful gold hardware on it. So zucchino is basically just the small version of Zucca. That's what I love about it. It has that canvas, the FF intertwined, once again designed by Karl Lagerfeld. But I love here, if you see along these sides, this is actually basically like triangle cut. So the sides are almost cut instead of just streamlined. They're cut to give a little depth, a little something else. And I absolutely just love it. And then they, of course, have here, this is just so fresh, this little Fendi note there, basically. I love it. It's only $1,150. They don't make this tote anymore. And then they attach, instead of just having the ring directly attached here, they have a little piece of leather based in the shape of a triangle attaching to the bag. Look at that, almost no wear to the base there. I see virtually no wear. Absolutely stunning. And then I've got that zipper. Fantastic sound, I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna make a zipper ASMR video one day for you guys, because it just needs to happen. Beautiful lining here, and I love, so you see those little marks in there? That is actually just canvas lining, and then it just says very, very small, Fendi, Fendi. So it's not wear, it's just little marks that say Fendi throughout it. You know, if I ever want a stain in my bag, I want the spell Fendi. And that's what it's doing here. Beautiful Fendi plaque here for the logo. Zip pocket here. Foam pocket here. Y2K era, so this is perfect for the disposable camera. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Only $1,150, no longer in production. You get some of those little nods there that I love, little nods to history, little Fendi cursive writing. You then, of course, get that extra detail along the sides there. Beautiful magenta color. Beautiful. That's what I love. You're too not ready for a full bright color in a leather bag, just, or a bag in general. This is the way to go. Get a trim, get a detail like this. Once again, me and our stylist are standing by to help you find that perfect bag. So just, you know, DM us on Instagram or on TikTok at what goes around NYC. Feel free to email us, live shopping at WGACANY.com, and we'll be happy to connect with one of our stylists to get you the perfect piece you are looking for. Once again, only $1,150 for this incredible item. Okay. Here we have, I just love anything that's kind of a baguette style or baguette inspired, I just love. If you saw on Instagram, we did a little baguette video. It's so much fun. Go watch it at What Goes Around NYC. This is the Fendi Brown Zucca Canvas, just flap shoulder bag. So precious. I love this bag. So this is $1,450. It's adjustable sides here. So you can make it shorter, longer, which I do love it when these parts here, I'll show you actually stick out a little more. I don't know why, I feel like it just adds a little something compared to the shorter version. Now, it does give you less room on your arm, but you know what, we all have to make sacrifices for fashion and beauty, so just make it. And listen to me with how cute it is. The compliment will feel better than the bag on your shoulder, but still. It'll make all that go away, but we love this. Look at that beautiful base here. Stunning. I love it comes up, tapers into the bag. You get that wonderful flap here. 
And I love there's no magnet or anything. So it truly just, you see here, this is how it opens. And then it basically folds in. And the weight of this basically hardware just keeps the bag secured. And I love that. And then of course it comes with one of the Fendi bags, dust bags, but don't worry. What goes around comes around dust bag will come with as well. Beautiful brown lining, you get a zip pocket there. Absolutely beautiful silver hardware. Only $1,450 for this amazing piece. They don't make these anymore. And if they did, they'd be much higher. So, and all, you always wonder why are canvas bags just as expensive or sometimes more expensive than the leather pieces? And I'm gonna tell you why. Just like leather is expensive to produce, the dyeing, the tanning, so is this canvas because it is not just a piece of canvas they basically printed. It is woven, it is basically a certain fiber, the Fendi, basically creative team, the Louis Vuitton creative team, Chanel, Hermes, they're out there finding the best mills, the best places that will make these basically fabrics. They only want the top quality. And with that comes cost, of course, because most of them are hand done work. So items like this are worth every penny. So whenever someone says, oh, it's just canvas, so it's not real leather, don't go with that because even places like Prada, that Tessuto, it is even more hard to make it because it's so thin and the weaving process oftentimes breaks, so I have to start from scratch. So I always recommend, don't let anyone tell you that it's not worth the price because it absolutely is. At $1,450 is an amazing piece. And it's a vintage one, this is Karl Lagerfeld era. You can't beat that. Okay. Now let's get into our good old friend, Coco Chanel herself. And here we have, and this is currently my favorite bag from Chanel. It's probably why it's first, because I'm like, you know what? It's doing the order of the show, and I was like, this is gonna be the first bag, because I just love it so much. This is the Chanel Beige Quilted Caviar Bowler with gold hardware from 2003. This is one of the last years they kept in that 24 karat plated gold, so only here, love it, $3,500, they no longer make this. So if you want something that's a little different from the flat bag and you want a bowler Boston S bag, this is the bag for you, I love it. And then beige, beige is so incredible because Chanel, Coco Chanel, she loved black, she loved beige, she loved red, and she loved basically navy. Those are her four main colors. And there you go, you have it. And let me tell you, beige on the pre-love market, look at that, no corner wear. Zero, zip, none. Incredible base, clean base, those five feet on there. Also not heavy wear to the hardware. I mean, mind blown with how incredible it is. And then you have that wonderful, almost silk lining. Beautiful. Zip pocket there, no additional pockets, but tons of room. Then of course you have that back slip pocket here. Fits an iPhone Max, already tried. Don't worry, I got you there. And as you can see, authenticity trick. I think I've talked about this a few times, but I will every time until every, someone says it for me before I even do it. As long as the quilting matches up, you are good to go. Now that's just one of the many authenticity things it takes us to look at this bag, determine the full thing, because as the uh, inauthentic industry gets better, they are seeing some of these cues, but that is one of the best ways to tell right away. Just looking at it, be like, great, it matches up. Check off that part at least. And then caviar leather. Why do we love caviar leather? Well, it is basically grain casting is what Chanel calls it now. They uh, stopped calling it caviar in 2018. But Karl Lagerfeld needed uh, caviar because he's so cheeky, he thought it looked like little caviar eggs. So caviar leather it is. He loved to play on words. $3,500 is an amazing piece. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. Let's move on to this Chanel black quilted Paris limited double jumbo flat bag. So I love this. You're looking at it and you're like, wait a second. Is that hardware turning off? No, nope, it's not tarnishing at all. That is one side of it is plated 24 karat gold. The other side is plated silver, which I absolutely love. And the rest of the hardware is gold. So that Paris double, basically kind of like a little 
not Parisians. You know, Parisians love to mix the metals, not follow the rules. So, you know, gold and silver together. There you go, easy. But this bag is from 1987, 88. So back then this kind of very like, wow, you're putting two me different metals together, unheard of. So I love that Carl Lagerfeld did this. He wasn't afraid to push the boundaries. And that's what makes this bag so great. And it's like a classic flat bag. So like I've said before, if you are someone who's looking for a classic bag, but you want something that's just a little bit different, this is the way to go. It still stays within that classic realm, but you get these fun little different pieces of history there. That you can definitely tell everyone, anyone out there. So it's a double flap as well. And then you get that beautiful burgundy interior lining. Now, that burgundy interior lining, that is basically, Coco Chanel said it was on the inside of, basically when the nuns, they just see it on the inside of their robes, but also her uniform. So it could be either or, or both. So beautiful, beautiful. You have, of course, the classic zip pocket, which normally is up here. They put one here. And then you have two pockets there and a middle pocket, which was named for your lipstick. And then of course the front pocket there. And Coco Chanel, the reason she had the double flap is so that when you just want to reach in your pocket, this back pocket here for something, you didn't have to go into the whole bag and show everyone what's going on in there. And then of course, we have the adjustable shoulder strap, back pocket there, boom, fits the iPhone Maxi iPhone Max, not Maxi, just Max. But this one, this is from the 80s, so the short strap's longer than, shorter than what normal ones have, but I still love that. And this piece, only $5,650. Can you believe that? Only $5,650 for this incredible, incredible piece. Absolutely beautiful. And then, what I always recommend for storing, we just put it in the flap here, You're good to go. Or you can put it in the pocket down here. But I do always recommend just putting it to the side there. And the nice part is you can display it very beautifully as well, just like that. Beautiful piece. Well, it's gonna win $5,650. Brand new flat bags, retail are above $10,000 right now. So you can get this piece for only $5,650. Normally they're not this low, so that is absolutely incredible price for this piece. 1987, 1988, you're looking at coming on almost 35 years with this bag. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, all right, now on to, we did beige, we did black, now let's do red, one of Coco Chanel's other favorite pieces. This is a slightly newer piece, I love this, this is the Chanel red quilted lambskin classic double flat bag in the size medium from 2015-2016 era. And I love it. The reason you've heard it, it's called the classic flat bag. Classic double flap is, of course, because of the double flap. Now the story of it is also referred to as the 2.55. Story is it was created in 1955 by none other than Coco Gabrielle Chanel herself. And basically called the 2.55 is because it was created in February of 1955. Now the CC turn lock was actually created by Karl Lagerfeld and put on the outside the bag. The CC logo was created by Coco Chanel herself, but then Karl made it a little bit more fun on the outside. Co uh, Mademoiselle Chanel originally had the Mademoiselle lock, which you can see on the reissue bags today. And then of course the chain strap, which Coco Chanel created, but Karl Lagerfeld just added a little touch with weaving the leather throughout the chain to give it that little extra touch and fun. I do think it actually makes it a little bit more lightweight too, which is nice. So this piece, I love it. Oh, look at that. Absolutely incredible condition. And only for $8,450. Set up a brand new one for over $10,000. Get it here, but probably only for a limited time because as prices go up at Chanel, they oftentimes go up on the pre-loved market. Only $8,450. You get that incredible pocket here on the front. See, unlike the Paris Double where the zip pocket was there, Ours is up here, which we'll get to here in a minute. Then you have the two slip pockets and the other pocket for, one could be for your compact, one for your wallet, the other could be for your chapstick, lipstick, lip gloss, eyebrow gel. I'm wearing eyebrow gel, so that's why I thought of it. Anything that you need. 
And then, of course, this is my favorite part of this whole bag. When I had one of these bags, this is where I kept the love letters, and that's what Coco Chanel did. So this pocket, you really can't get much in there, but what does fit in there would be some folded up letters. She kept the love letters of Boy Capel. She kept them in there so they were always close to her heart after his passing. So, beautiful piece. That's going to only $8,450 for this incredible item. Absolutely beautiful. You have that back pocket there. Love it. And then, of course, simply over your shoulder. And then you have the double as well, which I love. It doesn't fit over my shoulder, so I'm not even going to try. Once again, I'm six foot five. If you're below six feet, this will fit you perfectly. $8,450. Only just a little bit of press mark on the interior top of the bag. Splat, that's it. Minor scratching. Otherwise, very, very little wear to this bag for only $8,450. Okay. All right, I'm bringing you back to beige, but I'm giving you a different kind of quilting. This is the Chanel Beige Chevron Caviar Pocket Camera Bag in the size medium with a flap. I love it, and gold hardware, 24 karat plated gold hardware. This is from 1992, 1993 era. I love it, because boom. Look at that, a pocket underneath. Could you imagine if there was nothing? I mean, I feel like Karl Lagerfeld would do that, but this is fun. And then as you can see, the quilting always matches up still. Except for here, because that is so that it just brings to a nice little fun point. And I love that they did that. Gives it a little bit of depth to it, a little architectural depth. Pocket here with that beautiful silk lining. And then you have here this hardware. This is called the Bijou, this quilted hardware. This is no longer in production. They came back with a similar style recently, but this is it. This Bijou hardware. Look at that. Oh, it's basically quilted within gilted within the metal and then it's looped together. It's like quilting on metal. I love that. And of course you have this fun tassel. Who doesn't love a tassel? You have the Chanel ball, the Bijou hardware again. Caviar leather, chevron all throughout. Once again, if you are looking for a classic bag, just want something that's a little bit different from everyone else, another great example of that. Lambskin lining instead of silk, like we saw on the interior of that pocket. But here we had the interior silk there. Beautiful slip pocket on the other side. And virtually no wear to the interior. Once again, this bag is basically 30 years old. And it is in incredible, incredible condition that you can only find here what goes around comes around. And of course, our authenticity progress. Uh, process is the most rigorous process I've seen in my entire career, and it is so amazing. Once again, this piece, absolutely collectible, such a stunner, only $7,150. Any other camera bag would be way over that retail. So, and then of course, pull out that full strap. So I put the stuffing back in before I realized I was so focused on making sure the bag was cared for properly and being put away. There we go. Great. And then look at that. Look at this beautiful hardware. Love that. And actually it's kind of nice because it is rounded. It kind of rolls on your shoulder, so it's almost like a massage. Only $7,150 for this incredible, incredible piece. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Oh, pardon my reach, all of my wonderful other bags. Look at this cool view. This is the Chanel Black Lambskin 3CC backpack in gold, 24 karat plated gold hardware from 1993. Only $6,950. Look at that supple lambskin. I don't even have to touch it or tell you guys, you can see it through that camera, it is just reflecting and shining beautifully. Why you ask it's called the 3cc? Well, one, two, three cc's right there, technically four, but you know what? 
we're going to ignore that. I love that we have three more in the back as well and also this backpack strap. Look at that. You get that hint of the Carl Lagerfeld chain with the leather lambskin straps. Beautiful. You have a pocket on your backpack as well in the back. CC turn lock. And then of course, by the way, I do love how they did this. Instead of it just being a flap, they actually have made these hard sides here so nothing falls out the sides of your bag. And I love that they've given it this drawstring here. One of the authenticity tricks, another one, is that the screws here should always be flatheads, always. There's only a very few exceptions, which I believe I've shown before, but if they are a Phillips head, that's most likely it's inauthentic. Only when it comes to the backlight and the acrylic pieces, at times you will see the vintage pieces, you will see a Phillips head, but very, very rare. Even some of the acrylic pieces should keep flatheads. So that's how we can tell. So if it's a Phillips head, we're like, nope. A beautiful piece. That incredible lambskin leather. Absolutely stunning. I love that they didn't put any pockets on the interior here, but what they did give you is a pouch. I love that. I love that they give me this pouch. It is not detachable, but that's okay because it's so dark in there with that black lambskin lining. I think this is perfect because you can easily, easily, easily just look for that strap and pull it up and then you find this. Tons of room for anything that you need to keep in there to ensure it doesn't get lost and you're good to go. We love that. We love the small details they do. Once again, only $6,950, this amazing piece. Brand new Chanel uh, backpacks retail for more than that. And they're not in 24 karat plated gold. And this beautiful lambskin leather that we see here. You don't get six, basically seven cc's. I love that. And I also love leaving that out sometimes. Like, I think that just looks so chic. Yeah, just like that. And then look, it's going to fit me. That's how incredible this is. Oh, caught myself on my suit. There we go. Absolutely incredible piece. I love it. Chains on the side here. It's fantastic. So I don't think I lift my arms up that much, but you get the point. $6,950 for this incredible item. Absolutely love it. All right. Now I'm going to bring you into a piece of jewelry. Let's put on my gloves so you can really see it and I don't get fingerprints all over this amazing item. And it's a classic. This is the beautiful Chanel CC turn lock brooch. I absolutely love this piece. Absolutely stunning. Of course, we talked about the CC logo. That was created by Coco Chanel herself. The brooch, though, the turn lock on the exterior, that was created by Carl Lagerfeld. And this piece is actually from spring, summer 1996. It's $1,050. You get that fantastic, basically, small pen right there. You know, I have a lot of questions, especially when you're wearing nicer clothing, suits or coats. You know, what is that pen going to cause too many holes? Not at all. The hole is so small that it would not even really be seen. So you'll be just fine. But if you are worried about that, get this piece, put it on your favorite jacket, on your favorite coat and let it live there, especially coats. I love seeing brooches on coats. Beautiful piece, only $1,050 originally from the spring summer 1996 collection. Absolutely incredible. All right. Now I'm going to bring you a good old wallet piece. This is just a good old timeless wallet. This is a Chanel Coral Caviar CC zip around wallet. This is from the 2013-2014 era. Caviar leather. Thank you, good old Mr. Carl Lagerfeld. $1,150 for this great piece. I love that coral color. Just, it's so vibrant. 
know, sometimes in the light it looks pink, other times it looks orange. And then it has that beautiful silver hardware. Wow, absolutely beautiful. And look at that. Four different pockets there with a slip pocket here. So four for your credit cards, then that canvas lining there and that kind of like light gray, almost whitish, just like a pearl gray. Another four there with your zip pocket, slip pocket there and then a zip pocket in the middle. Also in that pearl gray canvas lining. I love that they did that, that attention to detail. It really brings out that almost contrast. It would have been too much if it was just one big piece of coral, but it's not. It even has the gray on the sides there, which I love. Virtually nowhere to this piece. Not even a little bit of scratching on the hardware. This is in such excellent condition. Wow. Only here what goes around comes around. Are you gonna find this amazing quality and craftsmanship? $1,150 for this amazing iconic piece. Okay, let's get into another classic known within the collecting community as the Walk. This is the Chanel Black Lanson Cambone Wallet on Chain. And this piece is incredible. It is a lambskin, but it also has that patent leather CC there. In 2012, it was named after the street, which the flagship in Paris is located on. And this is from 2012. Beautiful piece. Look at that. You get that fun little zipper pocket there. This is even smaller, so actually, wow, it does go deep, so your letters could fit in there, your love letters. Still possibility. Beautiful silver hardware. My favorite part is this beautiful pink lining here. And of course, the pink lining. Part of it is in leather, the other part of it's in canvas, but they still have all the CC marks, the CC logo all throughout of it, which I love. I don't know, it's like a mini flat bag, but not. This piece, only $2,750. I can't believe that. That is literally insane because they're more than that at retail. They also don't produce this anymore. Look at that. Even on me, six foot five, these fit so well on me. It's right at my stomach. This will hit you right to your hip or right below if you're below six feet. $2,750 for this incredible item. Absolutely stunning. $2,750. All right. Beautiful. Let's move on to another piece of jewelry here. This is the Chanel Gold quilted CC necklace. So this is actually one of the very first pieces I ever purchased from What Goes Around Comes Around. Absolutely beautiful. From 1991 to 1993 era, it was designed by Victoire de Castellan. And the reason we know it's from 1991, 1993, because that's when they didn't put really date marks on it. But absolutely stunning. $1,150, plated in 24 karat gold. The back is just as interesting here. It's virtually no signs of wear, and look at that. Look at that just drape into my hand like that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That chain is just incredible. I love it because it sits right onto this little circular piece here with the cute little insignia logo. Absolutely beautiful. $1,150 for this fantastic piece. Okay, let's get into a little bit of Hermes. You didn't think I was going to do all of this without some Hermes into our show. All right, here we have this stunning Hermes Rose Confetti Epsom Guardian Party in the size TPM with beautiful, beautiful palladium hardware. I love this. They just started coming out the TPMs a few years ago. Normally the garden parties are in the size 36 is what everyone's used to, but this is more like a size 30 centimeter. So I love the garden party. They think of the garden party at Hermes. They say the leather version is for the city, the canvas version is for the country. And it's created basically as a simple, easy hold R. 
I love it. The name Garden Party says right there, it's for a party in your garden or, you know, going out to a nice little party, little luncheon. There you go. And then we have the clue to sell snaps on each side, which the clue to sell is such a big, it's not just a snap, but it's a snap that has their Hermes logo in it, beautiful insignia that they use on a lot of items. And they even design bags that are just clue to sell on it. So, and I love something they do is they keep that absolutely beautiful canvas twall lining in there. Absolutely stunning. And apologies, just the canvas, not the twall. But you do have a zip pocket back here, that Epsom, both on the interior and the base of that bag. Beautiful. This piece, $6,150 for this incredible item here. Absolutely beautiful. And rose confetti, like absolutely a piece, a color that is just soaring right now. Such a hard color to find. $6,150 for this incredible piece. Okay, here we have this Hermes Blue Marine Corduroy Constance 24 with gold hardware. Isn't this incredible? Wow. This is such an iconic piece. They did some of these in vintage versions, but this is a newer version of it. We still have plastic on the hardware here, the stickers there. And it has beautiful, that dark marine, the blue marine, almost blue ocean, leather trim to it. Now the Constance. This bag is originally from 1967. It's when it was first created. And Jean-Louis Dumas actually asked a young woman designer to create a bag for Hermes. And at the time, she was pregnant. Her name was Catherine Chalet, and she named it after her fifth child, her daughter, Constance. So that's where this bag came from, the name of it. And I love, it was actually, I believe, the first bag designed by a woman at Hermes. So of course, she thought of it as functional. That adjustable strap, who would have known? We love that. And then, this is the Constance number three. So there's been three generations of Constances. This one has the double gusseted sides and then the two pockets here. One's a little smaller with a slip pocket. And then of course we have the zip pocket in the back here as well. And look at that condition, absolutely incredible. That interior lambskin leather here, that Agno leather, fantastic condition. And then the exterior leather as well. Beautiful, virtually nowhere to this bag. Plastic stickers still on all of the hardware and only $15,950 for this amazing piece. This is a limited edition item. Love this item. And that corduroy blue, it almost changes with the lights. I love that. Even though the gold is just normal gold, it almost makes it look like a lighter gold, like a champagne gold. $15,000. $950 for this incredible, incredible piece. Okay. Next, we are going to go to my personal favorite bag in existence at Hermes. This is the Hermes Anamone Epsom Gige Alain 29, or as I say in French, Gige. And it's named the 29 because it measures at 29 centimeters. Beautiful piece. Epsom leather, scratch resistant, water resistant, standard resistant. Anamone is that beautiful purple. The interior of the bag, it's just stunting lamb skin leather there, beautiful piece. So this has such 
a beautiful love story. This is basically love in a clutch. This became available to the public in 1975, but first it was designed by Jean Garand, who was the son-in-law son of Hermes, uh, basically CEO, Emile Hermes. So Jean Garand, he basically created this bag as a gift for his daughter-in-law who was getting married. And they named it the GJ because it was Jean Garand's initials. J, which in the French alphabet is G, and then G in the French alphabet, which is J. So GJ, right there for you. But I love that. Or just G, J I G E. Beautiful. And then it doesn't have any hardware on it, but you would tell if it would by that. They put silver there, a silver writing. So it's technically a silver hardware, if you will. And they oftentimes have done gold. They make them in calf box. You know, so many different beautiful, beautiful leathers and colors. But this is personally my favorite clutch. Virtually no wear on it, almost no corner wear, only $4,500. This color anemone is so hard to find on the pre-loved market and on to find at retail as well. So Aramez, it's hard to just walk in and get a bag. Certain bags, yes, other bags, no. The GJ is, you know, a back and forth one, of course but $4,500 for this incredible item. In that condition, I mean, look at that interior. Wow, absolutely amazing. Okay. Then of course, we are going to bring out, I know this one's not a short story, but it's still a beautiful one I want to bring to you all. This is a beautiful, and I did it a little differently today, Open it up a little bit so we can show her off. This is an Hermes Rouge Pivon Epsom Birkin 30. So basically on a flight from Paris to London in 1984, the famed actress, model, Jane Birkin sits down to none other than Jean-Louis Dumas, who at the time was creative director of, uh, and chairman of Hermes. So basically she spilt out her agenda and frustratingly picked everything up. He, Jean-Louis Dumas at the time, Jane Birkin didn't know who it was, said to him, or she said, he said to her, you know what, your agenda should have pockets in it. And she basically quit back like, well, I'll have pockets in my agenda as soon as Hermes makes it. And then he basically was like, well, I am Hermes. So, I mean, the rest is history. So she took the chance to sit next to him on the back of an air sickness bag. She told him, I want a bag that's a little bit bigger than the Kelly, but smaller than a carry-on. And together they created what is now the Hermes Birkin we see in front of us. So the Hermes Birkin 40 centimeter, which measures the base, was the original size. Here we have in front of us a 30 centimeter. Then it, this was the third release of sizes. This didn't come out until basically, I think the early 2000s, late 90s. So incredible piece, Epsom leather, Rouge Pivon, palladium hardware here, virtually nowhere to this piece. There is still plastic on the hardware, stickers on there. We love it, $16,500, this incredible piece. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Plastic on the feet of the bag. Absolutely stunning. $16,500. Slip pocket, interior is that tonal chev leather. Beautiful. And of course, I always recommend when storing the bags, leave it outside of the pontets here. Keep the singles out of there. And then of course, keep the lock off just like this. All right. And then just put it back onto the strap here. Just like that. And then we'll leave that to the side from what we put together. This piece is so exquisite, and I love Epsom leather because it is scratch resistant, water resistant, stain resistant. So you're not gonna bring this bag out into the rain, but if it does have to happen, like, it'll be all right. And then instead of putting it into the pontets, just drape it over like that, the, both the singles, the arms of the bag. And then you're all set. And then take this piece, you either put it inside the bag, or if you want it on display, Just loop it around the handle like that. 
and you're all set and good to go. It looks great on display. Obviously, you wouldn't carry it like this because you can't get into your bag. This is meant to be locked, but beautiful piece. $16,500, just so insane. I've not seen Birkin 30s less than $20,000 and in this great of condition. I mean, there's plastic on the lock on all the hardware here. Amazing, amazing piece. Okay, now let's get into another Louis Vuitton piece before I bring out kind of the last two. One of the last pieces is kind of a, oh my gosh, this is an amazing piece. But this one, it's a Louis Vuitton monogram canvas, keep all bandolier 50. Now I'm bringing it out how I love seeing these bags folded up. Look at this. This is how they come out. They're meant to be at times. But you can also stuff it, put it on display. But the whole point of the bags are that they can be folded up. So when you're traveling, you can put it into your suitcase and easily take it wherever you need to go. You know, you want to go shopping for a second time. There you go. Go to Paris. You know, you don't want to bring an empty suitcase. So you bring a duffel, fold it up into your bag, and it lives right there. So, but of course, easily comes up as soon as you fill it put some stuffing in there, whichever your heart desires. Or we can just even undo it like this and look. It pretty much wants to fold in on itself, but that's okay. It will stand up as well. So the bandolier, which is different from just the normal key ball, everything is static. 50 means, measures at 50 centimeters at the base, but you have the sides here with also the strap for reinforcement. That is for the shoulder strap. So, the shoulder strap here just goes on, easy as could be. And look at the condition of this bag. I mean, that BVN leather trim, that machete trim, still so amazing, so great. But ECC, now you have it, so you don't just have to carry it by the handles. It's adjustable as well. You can easily throw it over your shoulder and Shoulder strap, I love this. Has almost like these balls here. So it's like a massage for a shoulder when you're carrying your heavy luggage. I love that. This bag is only $1,650. The brand new ones are over 2,000 retail. So for this grade of condition, look, virtually nowhere to it. Some darkening to the main Vachetta trim on the bag. Virtually none to the shoulder strap. But the nice part is they all kind of do it together. They patina together. So I don't know how it happens, but it does. So. $1,650, size 50, which is such a great size. And this bag was basically created in the 1930s. Some say it came before the Louis Vuitton Speedy, but Louis Vuitton.com says that it was created in the 1930s. So, and they often say the Speedy was inspired by the key ball, which we'll get into, but I love it. Just a great travel bag. Honestly, whenever anyone's like, what travel bag should I get? I always say, just go for a, a Louis Vuitton key ball. They are so perfect. Great weekender bag. Honestly, I've seen people do a full week in these bags in the 50s and the size 55, so you will be just fine. And it's easy, shoulder strap. Just wrap it up here. Put it inside the bag. And then you can let it fall down. You can fold it either way, whichever your heart desires and you're good to go. Only $1,650 for this incredible piece. Okay, let's bring out the smaller version, basically. This is the Louis Vuitton Monogram Canvas Speedy in the size 25. So it was originally called the Express Bag, but then after that happened, it didn't sound as modern, so they renamed it the Speedy. But the size 25 is actually not the original size. Size 30 was, and they made the 35 and 40 as well. So once again, we're measuring at that base when we talk about those size. The, 20, the 25 and the 30 is uh, referring to centimeters. In America, if it's an American brand, you oftentimes will hear it not in the metric system, but in like a 10 or a 12 or a 15, which refers to inches. So in the 1960s, Audrey Hepburn asked Louis Vuitton, can you just make me a smaller size than my keep ball? and the Speedy 30, I want a size 25. And this is what came about. Of course, who was gonna say no to Audrey Hepburn right after, it was right after Breakfast at Tiffany's movie. So of course she was the perfect time to ask. She did it so smart. This piece, $1,395. Look at that. 
There is basically nowhere to that pochetta Vivian leather trim. And I love it. You still have, I'm like basically want to touch it. You know, I'm going to put on my gloves for this. I don't want anything to happen to that Vivian beautiful trim. So this back needs to come to you exactly like this. It's absolutely beautiful. And that's what I love about here, what goes around comes around. We keep all these items in climate controlled facilities. And that's what I love about it. And they're cared for so well. Only $1,395 for this amazing item. Beautiful. And then look, you have this incredible brown interior there. It has a zip pocket. Absolutely beautiful. And see the pocket I love, it's actually a little bit more release that comes out, just like that. Beautiful. And then on the interior here, because this piece is still so new, we get the lock and the two keys. You oftentimes will hang the lock here on the side, and then you can put the two keys here, or just keep the keys inside. The lock, I would say put it here when you're doing special occasions if you want, but you can always basically take it off because it could harm that side. But, I mean, why not? We love the lock on the bag. I know, Lena, isn't this a beautiful bag? We absolutely love it. So this piece, $1,395. Absolutely incredible in such incredible, incredible condition. And such a fun history. I mean, Audrey Hepburn, and you can see so many photos of her in her older age, still carrying this bag. She absolutely loved it. Beautiful piece. And then of course, look at that base. If you're ever wondering what is the front and the back of the bag, the front for Louis Vuitton bags is when the Louis Vuitton is facing upright and forward to you. The back is when it's upside down. And people always are like, oh wait, no, that means it's not authentic. It's not actually. If it's both upright side for the Speedy, that's not good. Because Speedy should be one piece of leather all the way around. So see, as I'm kind of putting it up like this, it's always up, right side up. $1,395 for this incredible piece. Piece of history. Okay, now let's move into, we only have a few more pieces for you guys today, but let's get into one more Louis Vuitton item. This is the Louis Vuitton monogram canvas pochette with good old gourd hardware. So, the pochette actually originally came out in the 1980s, so Louis Vuitton decided to introduce a few different accessories out there, and this is the one that really took off. It's based in the 1990s, early 2000s, because that's when the baguette was around. This had such a big, just wow, we need it. And it is so stunning still to this day. People still clamor for it, they still love it, want it. They're so hard to get at Louis Vuitton. Only $1,050 for this amazing piece. Monogram coated canvas, so it's scratch resistant, water resistant, stay resistant. You can literally wear it so many ways. Take this off, attach it to your other big bag, or put it on here where it is a wristlet, or as a shoulder bag, or on the arm clutch, or you can take this off altogether and it can just be a clutch, whichever your heart desires. You basically get four or five different bags for the price of one. $1,050, incredible gold brass hardware to it. That fantastic canvas lining. I absolutely love this piece, so beautiful. And you're not gonna believe what year this item is from. This is from 1999. This is during that hype of that era. And look at that Bichetta trim. Incredible, almost nowhere to it. $1,050, over 20 years old, 24 years old right now. $1,050 for a vintage, iconic vintage piece. You see how now this has both Louis Vuitton upright, it's because it's two different pieces of leather, and then this connects it throughout the middle. See, we love learning while shopping, it's one of my favorite things. $1,050 for this incredible item. Okay. 
here we have this piece. I always tell one, if you're not ready for a Birkin yet, this is a great one to go to. This is the YSL Saint Laurent. This is basically when the era when Heidi Salmain came in and changed it to Saint Laurent. But, you know, we still love calling it YSL Yves Saint Laurent. Red Caskin Sac du Jour with gold hardware. So Sac du Jour in French just means bag of the day. This is the bag you would carry every day if you need to. Super easy. I love this piece. I really do. This was actually before I ever got a Birkin. I had a Sac du Jour. I loved it. It was so cool. And then I actually got rid of it before I got my Birkin, but I also thought I should have kept it. It would have been actually still cool. I still love them today. So it's designed by Hadi Samain in 2013. And even though he is no longer at Saint Laurent, he has still, they have still made this a staple piece at Saint Laurent. It became part of their permanent collection, as they call it. So you, of course, have a shoulder strap. We love the shoulder strap. Once again, different hardware than what most brands do. They have a little rings here for the shoulder strap that are hidden. And that's often, I think that was like one of the very first time I kind of realized like, wow, hidden. 2013 was when they came out this bag. And I love that that's hidden. Pop it on there like this. So you can either wear it with the handles or with the shoulder strap. Just like that. And also, if you do have Birkins, but you want a Birkin style with a shoulder strap, because Birkins don't come with shoulder straps, there you go. This is the back for you, and only $2,450. These retail for much more than that. So that's an incredible price. Beautiful suede lining. You have a keychain hook here, so you can hook your keys. Center middle pocket here. Absolutely beautiful. And then five feet there. Oftentimes, you don't see these in this great of condition. Only $2,450. And I love, this is kind of a little different that they did. He put the lock in the clochette rather than putting the keys in there, which I thought was just kind of cute. And you can always take the lock out, which actually I love this style, doing this. Letting them both hang there. See, isn't that fun? It's kind of cute. Very cute, actually. It's amazing. Toot my own whore there. $2,450, and we're not done yet. Just like the Birkin, it expands if you need it to. Oh, and guess what? That's still not enough room. Bam. The back does it too. And now you have all the room that you could need for only $2,450 for this beautiful, iconic bag, the Sac du Jour, bag of the day. Absolutely amazing. And I love it in red. It's very just like something about it. But you know me, I love an all black with a pop color. It's perfect. So only $2,450 for this incredible, incredible piece. There you go. It just snaps right back together. You don't need the space anymore. There you go, easy as that. $2,000. $450. Okay. We are on to our final piece for today, and I saved this for you. It is a really special item. So excited to bring it out. Here we have this iconic, amazing Hermes Lime Votably, which is suede. Kelly cut with palladium hardware. Can you believe this? I mean, you never see suede anymore, and never in this great of condition. I mean, there's virtually nowhere to this bag. I love suede. Love it so much. Wow. Just minor, minor corner wear, but other than that, incredible piece. So this was first seen in 2008. The Kelly cut hasn't been around as long as Kelly Pochette, which was debuted in 2004 but it was also designed, like the Kelly Pochette, by Jean-Paul Gaultier, who has brought us so many amazing collections from Hermes, including this piece. And then, of course, the interior is lined in that beautiful lambskin leather. And I love this piece. Look at that. And we still have plastic on the hardware, which is so impossible to find. This piece, 26000 
for suede that is such a steal because most time at auction, these have gone for north of $40,000. So only $26,500 for this incredible piece. And we of course all know the story of the Kelly. It was originally called the Sac de Peche in the 1930s. And then when it did come out, and Grace Kelly started wearing it, and she was photographed with it in front of shielding her baby bump. It was then called, renamed in the 70s, the Hermes Kelly. She actually, Grace Kelly first came in contact with the bag to catch a thief in that movie. And she basically had to use the bag during the show, fell in love with it, and was like, you know what? Or in the movie, not the show. I was like, you know what, Hermes, make me tons of colors in it. And they did, and renamed it. So I love that we're bringing this kind of style to it. Perfect for under the shoulder. Has a two centimeter drop here. So my fingers actually fit perfectly through there. So easy. $26,500, can you believe that? For this beautiful piece. Honestly, it should be closer to 40, but we're doing you a deal here. And I love suede. If you see, I'm like basically rubbing it. If I rub it this way, it shows basically a different dimension. So I love this piece. And then that line, so beautiful, just a nice pop. $26,500 for this amazing piece. All right, so I'm gonna hold her while we do this because it's so beautiful. <laughs> this is the end of our show. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for Bag Lunch. I'm so happy to have you all here today. I'm sure you all love tuning in and please let me know what one of your favorite pieces here was. Besides this beauty, which I think is all of our favorites, I really do think one of my favorite pieces was this beautiful linen Diana bag. This bag is only $6,950, which is absolutely absurd. Such a steal because most of these go between eight to 10,000 and you never see them in this beautiful condition. I love this piece. Named after the iconic Princess Diana. I Spice just came out the song called Princess Diana featuring Nicki Minaj, so I love that as well. Brings back that little fun history to it. So, well, so it's basically named after Princess of Wales, not I Spice's song, by the way. So thank you all so much for tuning in today. It's such a pleasure to have you all. Of course, as always, follow us on Instagram at what goes around NYC and on TikTok. Feel free to DM us if you have any questions or see any bags that you wish to have. You know, we'd be happy to connect with one of our amazing, talented stylists, or you may hear from me directly. We have three locations, Beverly Hills, just off of Rodeo Drive, and then, of course, our two locations here in the beautiful New York City, where we are located. We have the 358 West Broadway, our original flagship, where we're celebrating 30 years in business. We're so excited for that. And then, of course, our new location here, the Atelier at 113 Wooster Street, and we are the studio in the Atelier. Thank you all so much for coming along. Here what goes around comes around. We are constantly chasing the timeless and of course all the iconic vintage pieces. And we're excited to have you along with us. Thank you all and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.